You just got your brand new Nordic Trek exercise bike with the smart iFit screen and you want to get the most out of your iFit Nordic Track. I'm going to show you everything you need to do and it's coming up in this video. Hello and welcome back to Gears and Tech. You've already seen my unboxing of our new Nordic Track bike, but now I'm going to show you how to extract the most functionality out of your Nordic Track. Now, to do this, you will need to access privileged mode. Probably when you plugged in your machine, it asked you to connect to Wi Fi, which you did, and it immediately put you into an update. That update removed the ability to go into privileged mode. So I'm going to cover a number of things in this video. There's going to be chapters along the bottom. So if you already know how to do certain things in this video, you can skip to the part that you want to know, or you can just watch the whole thing. The choice is yours. I'm going to warn you right now, this video is going to get a little bit long because there's a lot to cover in each area. So feel free to skip to the parts that you need to know or throw this on 1.25 speed so you can get through it quicker. To make sure that we can get into privileged mode, we want to click on a part of the screen that will not initiate a click action. So if this is what your home screen looks like, we're gonna click down in this corner. You're gonna click it 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. You're gonna wait seven seconds. Three, four, five, six, seven. Then you're gonna click it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. You'll notice that it is asking me for a code. It's asking me to call a 1-800 number and beg them for the code. You do not need to beg them for the code. I'm going to show you how to revert back to the prior update so that you can access this. And to do this, before we get too far into this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below. If you've seen some of our content already and have not subscribed, we want you to join our community. Smash that like button, hit subscribe, and let's get back to the video. We are gonna need a pin or a sharp object. So what we need to do is look for the reset hole on our machine. Now this is a S22i, and our reset hole is right here. You're basically just looking for a tiny little hole. If I look inside there, I can see a little white button inside there. Your hole might not be right here. It could be somewhere else on this machine, but you will definitely have a little hole with a reset button. And we're gonna to wanna to hold that down to initiate this factory reset. So we've done our factory reset. Now the way that I ended up doing this was by unplugging the machine, waiting for it to power down, plugging it back in, and as it's powering up, push the button until that update screen shows up. Then you're gonna just let it do its update. Now we're gonna say get started. Now we have an option to continue without Wi-Fi. You do not want to plug in the Wi-Fi or it will do another update. So now it's gonna give you a warning saying, well, you won't get your premium content without being on Wi-Fi. Once we're on this screen, it's gonna be saying, I don't want you to continue without your Wi-Fi connected. So what we're gonna do is click this menu drop down right here, and then we're gonna to go to enter privilege mode. So we're gonna tap here 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then it now says settings, privilege mode to true. Now we have privilege mode. So we can swipe up from the bottom like that. Click the button in the middle 
which takes us to our home screen. We are now in privilege mode. So we can do anything we want in privilege mode, including side loading apps. Now there's certain things that we want to do and able to allow ourselves to side load apps. But once we are here, we want to go to the settings. So I'm going to go in here to settings and I want to connect to the internet now. Now, I do not want to initiate an update. If it at any point says updating, we're going to back up and say, hold on, that's not what I want to do. So the first thing I want to do is go Wi-Fi. And I'm going to find my Wi-Fi and I'm going to punch in my password and then we're going to come back. So it is now connecting and I am connected to Wi-Fi. The first thing it's doing is asking me, oh, hey, we detected Wi-Fi. Would you like to update now? We're going to say later. We will do that later. We still are in privileged mode. So we're going to swipe up. First thing we need to look for is a app called Taskbar. So we're just going to search on here and we're going to say task bar APK. Now APK are installer files for Android operating system. We are not going to be going through the Play Store for this. We need to go through a less conventional method. So we're going to download it from the internet. So on here we're going to go to this APK Pure. So now it's downloaded our taskbar. Now the first time you click this, the first thing that's going to happen is we're going to get blocked. It's going to say you're not allowed to install this app. So we're going to go to settings and then we're going to say allow. So if you have that enabled already, you'll click it, it will stage the app, it'll say okay, it doesn't require any special access and then the install button is down here in the corner. Now it should install it just like that. And then we can say done. So we're going to swipe up again. We're going to open taskbar. Now once we're back into the app, we want to go to general settings and there's a thing here that says launch on boot. You definitely need to have launch on boot turned on or this whole thing won't work. So what this is doing, this is giving us backdoor access to apps that have been loaded that will not show up on your home screen. Even if the apps are there, you won't have a way to get to them. So this creates a taskbar that we can swipe up to make appear and we're going to put all the apps that we download onto here. So now we need to figure out what apps do we want on here. There's a couple that we definitely want. So we're going to put Netflix on here. I'm going to put Disney Plus on here. I'm going to put Amazon TV on here. And I'm going to put the Peloton app on here. Those are the four that I'm recommending. Everything else, if you have other apps that you want to have on, that's fine. You can do those at this stage too. But you want to do that before you go to the next final step. So the first one I'm going to do is Chrome APK. Now I would avoid APK mirror when you're looking for your APKs. You want to look for the next one. APK Pure seems to work really well and it just automatically downloads. We're going to wait for our progress. It's in progress right now, 30%. And then when it's done downloading, you'll see it show up there. And it should look like a, the little robot, robot icon when it's done. Okay, it's ready to install. So we're going to click it. And again, just like the last one, we're going to click install in the corner over here. Now, why do you want a Chrome browser instead of just a regular browser? Well, the regular browser will actually be locked out to you after you lose your privileged mode. So you need a different browser that will be part of your own privileged mode, which is going to be the Chrome browser. It's a better browser anyway. App installed. We're going to click open. Make sure it works. Accept and continue. There we go.
once we've got all the apps on here that we are looking to install, we need to pin them to our taskbar. So we're going to open our taskbar, like by that. Then we're going to long press on it, and then we're going to say pin to recents. Pin to recents. We'll pin iFit on there as well. And just like that. And if you had put the Peloton app on, or you had put Amazon TV on, or you put other apps that you really want on, then you can pin those on there as well. Uh, but you want to make sure they're pinned there because when this reboots, they won't be there anymore. So if you pin them, they will stay there and they will be accessible. And then as a double, double check, you want to click this button right here and it'll pop up. Any apps that show up in here, you will have access to once we do the update. If the app that you installed that you want to see is not here, you want to make sure that it is here before you continue to the next step. Because I'm happy with what I have, I'm going to go here to iFit. Now it's going to take a couple seconds to load because we're basically doing a cold boot into iFit. You'll notice that I still have this little button here that'll swing this drawer out to give me access to all my other apps. So now I'm going to say get started and now it's going to do all the same initial setup. If you have an account, now would be the time that you're going to go into that account, but you will have lost everything that was set up on this before until you restore that account. So now it is downloading the update for us because we're connected to Wi-Fi now. So you want to make sure you do not run this app until you've installed everything you want down here first. Once that's installed, you're good to go. So we're going to let this finish downloading the app. So now it's installing a system update and we'll see if everything that we put on is still there when the system update is complete. Okay, so that is the second big update. Now, if you're doing this, there might be more than just two updates, but you want to let all the updates run. And then when it's done, we should end up into the main screen. Now, you'll notice that our taskbar has popped up with the apps that we installed before. So it did survive those updates. The thing that you do not want to do is to try and unlock your admin privileges again because currently they are unlocked. If you tap the sequence that is to unlock it, it will actually lock it and it will not let you unlock it after that. So once we're here, we leave it alone. You don't try to do anything new. You don't try to do anything like that. Now, one thing I am curious about is if I can open Google and install an APK. I wanna see if I can download a file Explorer APK, free APK download, thank you, open. So we are in the updated system. I'm just doing an install of another APK file just to see if it will allow me to do it. So it looks like I can install ES File Explorer and will it install? Open, excellent. So we still do have the ability to install APKs because we installed another browser. We installed the Chrome browser. So we wanna make sure that we have all of that. So one thing I don't have is the ability to swipe up anymore, but that's okay because I've got my taskbar right here and I can pull that up and then switch. So there we go. So we are set up to log into our iFit account. We can swipe this out just like that. We can see all of our apps that we installed on here. We can see all the ones that we pinned. I can still open up my Netflix like that. Uh, enter my Netflix information so I can watch Netflix while I'm riding my bike. I can use uh, Disney Plus and if I need to update the apps because Netflix will update at some point, but this won't update because we sideloaded it. So you may have to go back at some point to Chrome and download the newest version 
of Netflix in order for it to keep working. So if at some point your app stops working, it's because there's been an updated one and you just need to update that app. So you just gotta look for the most recent one and install it. Like I said, this has been a long, long video uh, walking you through all this, but it will help you unlock your Nordic Track bike. Now this works on the S22i, it works on the S15, the S10 and commercial models. All you gotta do is find that reset button so that you can revert back to the old software. No phone calls required, no nothing. You've got everything you need right here. Hey, thanks for watching all the way to the end of this video. We hope you enjoy the content in this video and we'd love to have you come back. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And for those subscribers who are looking for that extra special thing that you can do to support this channel, consider joining our members group. That's where we're building this community, the Gears and Tech community, where we can all enjoy content together. You'll get special perks, which we'd love for you to check out by clicking the link down below. For those of you who are just happy to watch the video, that's okay too. You can check out some of our other content right over here, where we've got some previous videos that have already been uploaded and enjoyed by many of our viewers already. We do hope to see you again. This has been Gears and Tech. Have a great day.